Mindset by Carol S. Dweck To achieve any form of success in your personal or professional life, a strong belief in yourself and your capabilities is the first key ingredient you must have. Developing a strong belief in yourself, a positive mindset is very important. If you want success in important areas of your life, you simply must believe in your ability to better yourself. This is something I know for a fact. You have to work hardest for the things you love most. Carol Dweck's book, Mindset, The New Psychology of Success, is the most informative and actionable book on how to develop a healthy self-esteem, a strong and positive mindset that cements belief in your growth. The premise of the book. The two mindsets, a fixed and growth mindset, are the foundation upon which Carol Dweck builds her groundbreaking work and book. From her research on the subject of achievement, she discovered that what someone believes of his or her ability is fundamental to the kind and level of success one can achieve. It is from this research that she unearthed the two mindsets. Her book talks about both mindsets and offers readers invaluable insight into how best to become growth-minded and apply the positive mindset in all areas of their life, including parenting, career and interpersonal relations. A growth mindset is belief you can develop abilities. This book summary outlines the most actionable strategies discussed in Dweck's book. Lesson 1. Growth Requires Effort What is more important, effort or ability? Ability versus effort is one of the most defining characteristics of Dweck's book. In fact, Dweck's main area of focus, in her research and in the book, is illustrating how, through effort, a positive belief in the ability to better ourselves, those with a growth mindset can achieve far more than those with a fixed mindset. The belief that ability is constant. No matter what your ability is, effort is what ignites that ability and turns it into accomplishment. When you believe that ability or talent is all it takes to accomplish, achieve or attain, this belief actually hinders your personal growth because when you believe that ability is a fixed trait, you essentially diminish the value of learning, growing and developing through consistent effort. A fundamental aspect of the growth mindset, the topic Dweck concentrates on disseminating, is a strong belief that all growth or improvement requires effort. When you have a fixed mindset instead of a growth one, you associate your ability or talent to your self-esteem stroke self-identity, which is not healthy because you attach your self-identity to your abilities. You shun challenges that may lead to failure, which denies you a chance to improve. Becoming is better than being. Lesson two, change your life by adopting a growth mindset. Dweck does an amazing job of illustrating the power of the growth mindset. She also does an amazing job of showing her readers how to shift their mindset from a fixed one to a growth one. The most life-changing information Carol Dweck shares is that it is possible to have a growth mindset in some areas of your life and a fixed mindset in other areas. It is also important to realise that even if people have a fixed mindset, they're not always in that mindset. In fact, in many of our studies, we put people into a growth mindset. We tell them that an ability can be learned and that the task will give them a chance to do that or we have them read a scientific article that teaches them the growth mindset. The article describes people who did not have natural ability but who developed exceptional skills. These experiences make our research participants into growth-minded thinkers, at least for the moment, and they act like growth-minded thinkers too. From these discussions, Carol concludes that the best way to change your mindset is to change your perspective mindset. Instead of seeing your abilities as fixed, start seeing your life and all your undertakings as malleable, something you can learn from and through commendable effort, grow through. The best and easiest way to change your life is by changing how you look at your circumstances and life in general. Mindsets are an important part of your personality, but you can change them. Just by knowing about the two mindsets, you can start thinking and reacting in new ways. People tell me that they start to catch themselves when they are in the throes of the fixed mindset, passing up a chance for learning, feeling labelled by a failure, or getting discouraged when something requires a lot of effort. And then they switch themselves into the growth mindset, making sure they take the challenge, learn from the failure, or continue their effort. Conclusion. Always be taking consistent action towards your aims. Effort is what ignites that ability and turns it into accomplishment.